<laughs> if we're replaying, then we must have volcanoes. Volcanoes are a required resource. Um, why not three? One per lane. I mean, I'll lose the benefit of all my unique mods, but that's alright. I only have one set up there on board, if you got another. Hmm, I could set another one up real quick. Oh, he's actually got Ascension into a volcano. I just don't have any relics or sh er, actually. <laughs> it's a shard holder. Let's see what we got here. Ew, we'll make this one map wide. Vamp, do I have a destruction? How about a defense rate? We'll just go with the we'll go with the trifecta. I ain't worried about no stinking mods. Oh, big, big difference. Oh my god. How is that? Oh, because I don't have a relic. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. Anti-support. Boar boom. Here, we'll blow up some boars. How's that? That's a little better. Let's see... What do we want with volcanoes? Hmm. Well, we should get some... Oops. We should get some, at least two sky guards, just to cover our bases there. Um, it was just a hot fix for um, some bug fixes. It did add in the Halloween costumes. Last year's Halloween costumes are getting a replay. Um, that's not really true, Mr. Stranger Danger. It depends on the scaling of the defense. On In a lot of cases, um, Deadly Strikes is more valuable than Vicious. Deadly Strikes is a percentage, and Vicious is a flat amount. Here, we'll put some Last Resort in. Just in case. Shame we don't have more Volcanoes, but... I mean, we could go... We could get some, uh, get an obelisk and some snakes, maybe. How about snakes? Hmm. Um, I took Melee Boom off of my Lightning Strike aura, aura and put Anti-Orc on it. I'm using my Lightning Strikes now, I'm using Anti-Orc, Anti- or no, I'm using Anti-Chaos, Anti-Melee, and Anti-Mini Boss. I didn't take the Boom off my Flame Aura's though. The Boom is still good. People cried nerf really, really quick, and it did. It lost its effectiveness. But it's still good. It's still a lane clear. I think that's actually probably good enough. I mean, I guess we'll find out. I forgot to put the gun witch back in. Lady Orcs making a push. Yeah, they got blowed up. My flame auras are still the same. 
I actually took, uh, I just took Tenacity off of them. And I put uh, range on them instead. As you see how big they are. I got some biggins. Still not at the cap, but pretty close. But I got some fatty flamers now. The only thing I had kept tenacity on is my weapon manufacturers and proton beams. Um, I would leave melee boom on there unless you're at floor 200 plus there, overs. And I'm actually still using Melee Boom on Floor 200. I'm not using Mega Rock. Um, on board might be. Oops. Forgot to upgrade the obelisk getting anyway, right. Okay, one board's got stun on his. Yeah, anti melee, melee boom, and range is what I'm using. Anyway, like I said, melee boom is still, or just boom in general, is still really, really effective. It's a huge lane clear. It's just not boom, everything's dead like it used to be. So, I mean, did it get nerfed? Absolutely it got nerfed. Is it usable? Well, of course it is. It still, it adds massive amounts of AoE to a single target tower. You know? Uh, you, you can use anything, Fluffy. Just use the defenses that you like the most. Your best bet in Onslaught is use the defenses of the heroes you like the best. Because you can make anything work. You know, so why wouldn't you use your favorites? Going on there, Scamper. TBG, what up? Zombie? Hello, hello. Must upgrade volcanoes. Let's see, they're all tier two now. I guess we'll hit the two. Not that we need to anymore, but we can hit the two sky guards. Quicksilver, what up? Foxy, how you doing? Mill army, hello, hello. Yeah, but anyway, the main thing with Onslaught is countering the lanes and the mutators. It doesn't matter what defenses you use to do it. You just use defenses that are counters to the different lanes and, and mutators there. Nice there, zombie. Needs more volcanoes. I cut all the volcanoes out. I've only got two lava mancers now. So that's my capability now. It's just two volcanoes. I tried to limit it down to one page on the on the character page. That that way it's uh you know, less less eye bleeding to look at. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> nice Loki. Uh, you've missed a ton there, Titus. I would uh, head over to Trendy's website and read the last ten or so news posts. But you've missed a ton in the, in the past year. I mean, it's always, uh, you know, I mean, you know how DD2 does it, how Trendy does it. It's all constantly changing game. The base game is still there, but 
features and mechanics change uh, all the time. Oh, the gun witch is a beast, Titus, no doubt. Exclamation, I, I think it's just GW. I don't know, let's see. Yeah, that's the one. That's the gun witch I use right there. That build, super, super strong. I just, I wanted to play the Gun Witch today, but I just forgot to put her in the deck and forgot after every wave as well. <laughs> here, we'll do it now. Get a little Gun Witchy here. I mean, she is a complete beast, no doubt. I mean, you could smug, but what's the point, you know? You can just do any defense. It doesn't have to be weapon manufacturers. I personally use poison dart towers. I kept enough crafting materials to upgrade PDTs and just let PDTs wreck it. On the real low uh, tiers, I used explosive poison. And then I took that off and just went with more PDTs and didn't use explosive once I got up to like chaos six or seven. But you can use anything. The main thing is having one defense. If you have one defense squared away, you're going to completely AFK everything all the way up to your reset again. I mean, you'll collect uh, relics on the way, so you can add additional defenses just with what you find. But if you just have just one defense decked out, then you're good. Anything more than that is kind of a waste of crafting materials, in my opinion. But, I mean, if you got the materials and you want to do it, do your thing. Oop, it's all over. What's in the box? Lots of legendary loot to throw away. Yeah, Shadow Flame's not what it used to be. 